museum natural history collections provide a snapshot or a window into the past. They're fantastic historic records and you can look at samplings over time in a given locality and see how things have changed. Since they're extinct in the wild, about the only way you can study them it would be in museum collections such as ours. For me, that usually means extracting DNA and looking at the genetics of the things that are there in the collection. And we've shown that not only can you get DNA out of the specimens that we have, but you can actually screen them for diseases that they had hundreds of years ago. So we've been able to show that you can look at avian malaria and other things like that. Another thing that we've done is we've looked at passenger pigeons to look at their genetics. Well, it turned out that it was actually most closely related to the bantail pigeon that we find here in California. And at first it was just a cool story to tell, but now that they're trying to de-extinct the passenger pigeon, it was critical for them to know what the closest relative was. I'm a paleontologist, so most of my work involves fossils. Most of my work deals with extinct species. Species become extinct because at some point they fail to adapt or acclimatize to changing conditions. I think it's really important and interesting to understand why species become extinct. We had a species called the Xerxes blue here in San Francisco. It was found out in the sand dune associations in the western part of the city. And that almost certainly went extinct because of human activities in those sand dunes close to Ocean Beach, where the food plant was eliminated with roads and houses and things like that. So we have to monitor these things and find out what's going on and how do we avoid any future extinctions or keep it to a minimum. We have a freshwater um, shrimp, which was originally described from the current location of the Rose Bowl down in Southern California. The last specimen of this freshwater shrimp, Sincaris pasadena, was collected in 1933 and crustacean researchers have been looking for it ever since and it's apparently extinct. However, there are freshwater shrimp locally in the Bay Area which are currently in danger of extinction due to habitat loss and habitat damage. We can learn from these specimens in our collection and in our sister institutions collections and be able to inform conservation decisions. Again, if we look at what's happening today, we can expect ecosystems to change. We're going to lose species. We seem to be losing them one by one. And somebody has used as an example, this is like an airplane that's flying along and you lose a occasional rivet. Well, you don't notice it at first, but you lose enough of those rivets and all of a sudden the whole plane falls apart. Well, the ecosystem is much the same way. Looking at these specimens in museum collections allows us to inform conservation decisions. There are extinctions that you know, were preventable, for example, and to keep things from going extinct, that's what we'd like to do. <laughs>